This is called Four Bellends and a Farage. A firm on the brink of ruination finally entered administration upon a further turbulent five years of erosion on the part of Sakir's management, which was certainly no worse than that of before, yet failed to reverse the consequences of that reckless team's underinvestment and devious schemes. Sakir, amounting to more of the same, being identical in all but name, Team Starmer fled, leaving no one in charge. Hence, enter four bellends and a farage. There shortly followed a town hall meeting, whereat the Farage, post-formal greeting, said, Our once great company's in dire need of reform, and I invite you to read this new contract written by Richard Tice, my good friend, colleague and source of advice. Said contract was later picked up by all in attendance upon leaving the hall, deafened ears ringing with rapturous cheers, eyes moistened, cheeks sodden with joyful tears as the Farage obliged each member of staff requesting a selfie and autograph. But who were the aforementioned Bellends, the Farage's colleagues and very good friends? Richard Tice was a property millionaire who'd spent some time in the Farage's chair, temporarily keeping his seat warm, spreading the gospel of business reform whilst the Farage was airing right-wing views on Fox, LBC and GB News. Ben Habib was a property magnate, a losing by-election candidate, a long-term Tory party donator, Brexit fanatic and boat people hater. Lee Anderson, known as 30P Lee, had a very limited vocabulary. I just want my country back, he complained over and over and over again. And last but not least, Dr David Ball, founder of the company Incredible. One time presenter and Tory MP, now deputy leader, both Habib and he. This is the board that will see the firm through. A total reform. Refreshing. Brand new. So said the Farage, and how the staff cheered, blinded as they were, before the mist cleared. And clear it did. By which time, the Farage and the Bellends were no longer at large. Profits sun shared were enough for five yachts, an island retreat, and an elite private plots. And who did the staff seek for punishment whilst drowning in debt and impoverishment? Not the Farage, no, nor the Bellends. They would be always remembered as friends. Woke ideology, trans-immigration dragged down a firm along with the nation, as implied in the Farage's contract. That was an incontrovertible fact.